Technology is always improving, so it's up to you to decide what tools you want to help you do what you do. This video will explain how to make building websites easier with a tool called Gulp. It's comparable to Grunt in that they both help the web development process. They are both task runners, so they do small tedious tasks that you don't want to do, like refreshing the browser when you save the file. The reason I'm telling you about Gulp instead of Grunt is that it's easier to comprehend, although it basically does the same thing. First, you'll want to install Node. You can easily do this by going to nodejs.org slash download. Now install Gulp globally by opening your terminal or command prompt and typing in npm install hyphen g gulp and press enter. Now you need a file called gulpfile.js to put tasks in it. You can view the documentation on GitHub with the link below this video, but I'm just going to explain a few things that my gulp file is doing. First, you need to download the particular plugin you want. You can usually do this by typing in npm install and then the plugin name in the command prompt or terminal. Usually, the plugin site has instructions on how to install it. You can copy my file at medianmass.com slash gulp. In the gulp file, you need to load gulp and each plugin you've installed with these lines. Commas separate each and then you finish that variable with a semicolon. This section indicates what happens when you type in gulp and hit enter in the terminal or command prompt. Gulp will run the task called root, which will run a function that has in the pipeline the plugin live reload and the parameter server, which is defined as a variable up here. This section will run gulp when styles is typed in the terminal. The source location is defined and then each pipe is ran in the order that it's written. For example, the SAS pipe will make the output file expanded. Each plugin has specific parameters that you can read on their sites. Live Reload is a plugin that automatically reloads your page when you save a file. You can either include a snippet of the code in your files or install an extension to your browser. Full installation instructions for your operating system and browser can be found on LiveReload.com. Once you have the software installed and the Gulp plugin, you can edit the configuration in the Gulp file. This area is the definition of what Gulp should watch for when using Live Reload. If you haven't yet implemented Gulp in your workflow, you should consider it because of how powerful it is. It can do things like render SAS files into CSS and concatenate or combine all CSS and JavaScript files, making only two requests instead of many. You can have a better look at my file at medionmask.com slash gulp. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching.